rising from the smoke of our failed 2019 rescue robot, Indestructible the First, is iStem's new and robust rescue robot, Indestructible the Second. This robot is an engineering feat designed from the ground up for the sole purpose of collecting ping pong balls in the most extreme environments. Indestructible II was hand built to be an all terrain vehicle capable of completing the most precise jobs in any given scenario. And this, this is how we did it! The first aspect of Indestructible II that we wanted to focus on was the required geometry to climb the dreaded rescue robot stairs. Knowing we wanted to utilize a tank design, a triangulated profile would best grab the front edge of the steps. We used an online CAD software to design a tread system to base the geometry on. In our previous rescue robot, we learned that the profile needed to be sharp and that the treads needed some serious traction. We came up with a completely original, fully 3D printed modular tread design that would get adapted to the robot. The shape of the treads were set at a specific angle to hit the step perfectly at the given height while also being capable of climbing any of the lower ledges around the arena. We began exploring an experimental plastic called TPU, which is a flexible building material used in 3D printing. The result was a stretchable tread with enough traction to grab all of the surfaces in the arena without any other assistance. The frame itself is built from two strong polycarbonate boards, which were attached by a custom bracket to replicate our virtual design. Once the frame was assembled, we started 3D printing the movement system. The drive cog and guide wheels are made of PLA plastic, a standard material used in most 3D printing applications. We assembled the drive system, mounted our warm gear motors, and tested out our new tank configuration to major success. Probably the most unique part of Indestructible II is the arm and capture units. Agreed. Now the arm itself was built to overcome two main issues, servo limits and obstacles on the frame itself. The servos only go about 170 degrees, which we would have expected a little bit more from them. So we had to come up with a design revolution to overcome this. A revolution? To make the arm in the shape of a J, so that when it fully extends, it reaches easily over the front of the frame. And when it fully retracts, it fits snugly back into the 10 inch height limit. Now the arm itself is fully 3D printed and made from PLA plastic. We also added a small plexiglass wall to add to the structural rigidity. The capture unit itself is a carefully tuned model of creativity. Instead of opting for one of the more common capture units seen in Rescue Robot, like a vacuum or grabber claw, we created a bucket equipped with a one-way gate for ping pong balls. When the capture unit falls onto a drop pylon, the ping pong ball then is forced through two tensioned rubber bands. Those same tensioned rubber bands keep the ping pong ball from exiting the bucket. This created a problem though, where we had no way to drop off the ping pong balls. Our solution, a servo equipped with wires capable of dropping the ping pong balls gently onto the drop pylon. The bucket is also designed with the geometry to fit around the four inch drop pylon perfectly. That way we can rapidly and precisely deploy the captured devices. The first obstacle of the rescue robot course to tackle is the stairs. We utilize an 11 volt graphene battery to send the maximum amps possible to the motors so that they could effortlessly get the robot to the top of the stairs to pick up its first ping pong ball. Our strong polycarbonate frame can easily take the impact of the robot diving down the stairs all the way to the bottom. The precision of the robotic arm is amazing to watch in action as it picks up and drops off the ping pong balls. The next hurdle to get over is the gravel. The robot's 3D printed tread makes sure it loses no grip as it crawls throughout the stones to receive its next ping pong ball. The tightly fit drive gears also make sure that no stones find their way into the tread system. The final obstacle that needs to be taken on is the cave. This rescue robot is fitted with an extremely bright LED lighting system and a 360 degree camera that we can use to help us see every single angle in real time. This robot is an amazing piece of design work and manufacturing that is ready to take on the rescue robot course at the NRC.